So hello my friends and welcome to MotoArchine.com. I'm Polo Archine and this is the Motor Breakdown. Today we're going to be talking about a chin curtain, a visor, and what it's been like to own the HJC i10 helmet. Today I'm going to be talking about a very very important piece of equipment that I've been expecting in the mail, and I'm very excited to have received it. And it is right here. This very, very important chin curtain for my HAC i10 helmet. And I ordered this from Fortnite.ca. Uh, and in terms of the shopping experience, didn't have any issues. I ordered it on April. 20th and I received it on May 7th. So that is uh, 17 days uh, that it took to arrive. It took probably about uh, 10 days for the item to ship. So I guess it arrived seven days after that. Uh, not as good as other uh, websites that I've ordered from. So talking about the chin curtain for the i10 helmet from HJC, I am actually a little surprised that the helmet didn't come with a chin curtain. This uh, this chin curtain retails for nine or ten dollars, depending on the website you're looking at. Nine or ten Canadian dollars, or uh, seven or eight dollars American. The helmet in Canada retails for two hundred and forty dollars Canadian, uh, and it can be found on sale for uh, two twenty, two fifteen, sometimes as low as two hundred dollars. Um, so, considering that the chin curtain is less than ten dollars. Uh, in my opinion, there's really no reason for it to just not come with the helmet, uh, considering that the helmet does have a lot of features and it's a great helmet, looks great. I think it's the only helmet from HTC that's certified by Snell. They could just toss in the chin curtain or maybe charge an extra five or even another $10 and it would still be a very, a very affordable uh, helmet with a lot of features already built in, plus the only thing missing from it, which is the chin curtain. So in terms of packaging from uh, four nine. Uh, this came in an envelope. Uh, inside the envelope were the other items as well. They were clothing items, uh, but this was just tossed in, so no additional padding of any sort. But um, it seems like it made it okay. Uh, I always like padding for uh, anything that is a part of something, just in case uh, it gets crushed or warped or damaged uh, on shipping. So, and in terms of HTC's own packaging, I also received the um the visor the uh, silver visor from another website from an american website and packaging looks exactly like this with the hjc uh, logo and a black label at the top plus some uh plus some plastic plus a plastic bag with an adhesive strip there so let's crack this guy open just opens and the part falls out here we go so here is the chin curtain Nothing special. It is a mesh chin curtain uh, with a couple of uh, tabs here where I guess it inserts into the helmet. Nothing really special about it. Just seems to be a mesh material. The mesh is kind of padded actually, so I guess that's kind of nice. And then this, this somewhat elastic -y material, I guess to get your head in there. Yeah, it's just plastic with just a fabric material. Quality of sewing is pretty okay. Glue is pretty okay. Actually, in terms of craftsmanship, I can't actually find anything wrong with it, to be honest with you. This actually looks pretty decent. And also, again, for a part that costs $9 and a helmet that I purchased for $200, uh, I'm actually really impressed with the craftsmanship from HJSC for such an affordable helmet, uh, considering that I have purchased thousand uh, dollar Shoei helmets in the past and I'm probably not doing that again. I'm going to quickly talk about why you would want to wear a chin curtain and uh, basically in case you're wondering the purpose of the chin curtain it is to um, basically prevent air from going up into your helmet from your chin area. Uh, if you're on a sport bike, that may not be a big of an issue if you're tucked in because the air is going over your helmet anyway. But if you're on a naked bike or something a bit more upright, it could be a bigger issue with the wind buffeting into your neck uh, and um, 
And this also should reduce noise going into your helmet. The i10 helmet is actually really loud. And I don't know if that's just the design of the helmet or if this will help reduce the noise. And I'll let you know about that when I try it out. Uh, okay, let's try to connect this thing in there. So I have the HTC helmet right here. You can actually see the three tabs here. Looks like should be pretty easy to, to figure out. So already I have a bit of a question because these tabs are kind of indented inwards. There's nothing wrong with this thing, is there? Oh man, I am afraid now. There we go. One in. That was kind of difficult. Okay, that just slides right in. And the third one, we are just gonna hop in right there. So let's squeeze. There we go, that snaps in. Side ones snap in, got a good positive snap feel. The middle one just kind of slides in, and that's how it looks now. Now let's see if it makes a difference putting it on. And the answer is not really. It's actually a pretty small chin curtain overall, but it still has a lot of coverage. Let's see how it feels taking it off. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, it looks nice. It kind of completes the look, you know, so, you know, it's a very nice looking helmet overall. And again, I'm not sure why the chin curtain just isn't included. Overall, uh, I would say that for $9, very uh, happy with the purchase. Uh, I'm, I can't wait to test it on the road. And that is that. Now we're moving on to the visor for the HTC i10. This year I bought from perfmoto.com. I know I uh, keep starting these videos with the box already open. It's a bad habit, but uh, I promise I'm trying to reform. Let's check inside the box here. Uh, so it's just a visor inside the box, no padding, which, uh, which isn't Ideal. I always prefer some padding in there. Take it out. It's standard HJC packaging with the logo and the uh, required tags and barcodes in it. Looks pretty nice. I like that it's brand new, untouched, perfectly sealed. There it is. All right, so this side here has an adhesive strip at the bottom, similar to the uh, chin curtain. Pretty easy to detach and get the visor out from inside. Let's pull that right out. The visor has another plastic covering over it, uh, shrink wrapped it seems. So it, this visor I purchased from perfmoto.com but not from their website. I actually purchased it from their uh, eBay store. The visor was uh, not the cheapest thing on the planet, it was uh, $45 uh, American and I had to pay about $8 in shipping so $53. Uh, American, which translates to roughly uh, 67 or 68 dollars, uh, depending on the exchange rate. So, um, so, so not the cheapest visor on the planet, but also not the most expensive. In regards to shipping times, I ordered the visor on April 18th, and I received it on May 7th, which is uh, almost three weeks, which isn't too bad considering that it came from the US and has to go through the border and, uh, and it's processing. Okay, let's open this up here. See if I can one hand this. All right, we got this going over here. All right, 
got it out. Yeah, pretty shiny. Looks like a pretty quality piece of uh, material. It's got uh, an attachment for the pin lock, which I do not use. Uh, that's the tint on the inside. Not the darkest thing on the planet, but it'll do for the purposes. Definitely helps take the edge off the sun. All right, so the mechanism to exchange the visor and the helmet is actually uh, quite common nowadays. So it's a toolless mechanism, super easy. You open up the visor all the way and you pull it down on this tab right here. Super easy. Pull that down, visor pops right out. So it'd be simpler. Pull that down, no problem. Same thing uh, with the visor going on. Basically snap it in. There's only one way that it can possibly go in while it's open. It snaps in. Let's do the other side. Right here. There you go. No problem. That's what the mirror looks like. So it's a little greasy because of the cleaner I use on it. I use uh, Plexus, so uh, it leaves this film on it to hopefully ward against fog. <laughs> but in the extreme cold, any visor is going to fog up. And uh, I don't use a pin lock uh, visor in there. So here it is. There are three mirrored visor options for the i10 and the i70 uh, silver blue and gold i went with silver uh, for the color combination of this particular helmet i think it looks pretty rad not bad at all This mechanism is amazing. All right, there you have it. Uh, now I'm gonna talk a little bit about what it's been like to own this helmet and then some overall impressions of it. It's been great having this helmet. I'm actually really happy with it. Great value, great function, great fit, great form, great everything, great style. Uh, I get a lot of compliments uh, from, about this helmet uh, from other riders or people at work. The blue is nice. There's no going around it. That it's, uh, that's a good sleek helmet. I think uh, the only thing that will do to it is perhaps get uh, a helmet mounted camera. Uh, probably get one of the ones that mount on the side versus that I have to glue onto the front, but we'll see. Uh, and that may also help uh, me uh, with my videos uh, and also uh, get some video evidence uh, should uh, something bad happen. Uh, so on the plus side, as I mentioned, the fit is actually a big thing. It's uh, for my head, I wear a medium. It actually fits quite well. I've been using this helmet now for about six or seven months now. It's, it's no problem. Uh, the cheeks are getting a little frayed because of my beard, but that's to be expected. On the downside, it is incredibly loud. You hit some speed, it's just basically, it just feels like the wind is just flowing right through your head. But the chin curtain does help a lot. Obviously having the virus closed also helps a lot, but it's still a very, very loud helmet. But that's not to say other helmets are quiet. In fact, very few are quiet. Uh, the most expensive helmets that I've had, which uh, is a, a Shoei X11 back in the day, uh, it was crazy loud too, and that was one of the downsides of it. And conversely, uh, the other expensive helmet that, that I had was the Shoei RF1000, uh, also back in the day, now, that, now we're up to the RF1200, uh, but that one was a lot quieter. So in terms of max performance helmets, crazy loud. In terms of this helmet, also crazy loud. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, in terms of the actual function of the visor, uh, it's not as dark as I would hope 
it would be uh, for um, for really bright days but it does cut down a lot of the glare uh, and that helps a lot uh, I don't wear sunglasses also underneath this I've tried it 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 makes it um, you know it just bugs me because then I have two pieces of glasses inside my helmet fogging up and 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 I just don't do it to be honest with you but not that ha happy with the 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 quality uh, of the visor um, it's it's taken some some nicks and scratches and you can see it through the helmet so when you put the helmet on um, you can see um, uh, lights go through these little pock holes in your in your visor uh, it looks like um, you know when you go into those uh, actually even better when you know those action movies where um, where you know you're fighting vampires and you have to like shoot the, the the glass light to get some light rays in there and those like two little lights pop through to kill the vampire that's exactly what it looks like it literally looks like uh, uh, these these tiny rays of light going through the uh, <laughs> the visor uh, so um, so not the absolute best quality on the planet not the worst hopefully I did use my uh, mirrored helmet uh, mirrored visor on my shoey helmets for several years and did not experience that so uh, so that's a little disappointing on the visor but I would not use this without that tinted visor to be honest with you I don't have a smoke visor so I can't compare otherwise how that is but hopefully the quality is there I, I do have another one of these mirrored uh, visors I did get another one uh, so that's my spare so if when I truly get tired of this one I'll just pop the other one on but aside from that good um, you know you know good tint but like I said there are these rays that are just like going straight through so annoying not perfect uh, and then uh, the chin curtain last thing it has stretched a little bit putting it on and off but overall it's holding its form pretty well not much else to say about it the HJC i10 helmet i absolutely recommend i also have an hjc i70 which i will be making a video of but overall i do recommend this helmet again 200 dollars is what i got it for on sale amazing bargain there's just no competition to be honest with you even with the cheap helmets from ckx or ls2 or whatever just just so much better quality in there you've you hold these two helmets together and you can feel this is much more substantial and i like that a lot the the paint on the actual helmet has held has held up quite well no complaints there lots of air lots of ventilation going through your head you stay cool i'm really happy with this helmet uh hopefully it lasts me for five years that is recommended for you to uh have and then replace the helmet so i don't expect any issues there all right that does it thank you everyone for watching this episode of the motor breakdown uh, please like subscribe hit the bell if you want to get those notifications and i'll see you on the next motor breakdown episode thank you